When you enter a website in the address bar of your browser, in order to find the IP address of that domain, the request is first going to your ISP domain name server. The ISP DNS doesn't always have all the website's IPs cached, so it forwards the request to an authoritative DNS server, like your domain register. If your DNS record points to your home address, the DNS translates the domain to your IP. The problem is that now the caller has your IP address, and with that you can get what is called a distributed denial of service attack. By the way, for more privacy, you can bypass the ISP DNS by directly setting a different DNS server such as Cloudflare as the default DNS for your PC or laptop. Now registering for a free Cloudflare account and setting it as the default DNS handler for your website has a few benefits. Mainly, it will proxy your request through their server, so the end user will not get your home IP address, but instead Cloudflare IP address. They also offer DDoS protection. But even so, you will have a couple of issues. First, your home network must expose ports 80 and 4 for free to the internet. That means if someone finds out your home IP address, they can still bypass Cloudflare. And the second issue is that most of us have dynamic IP addresses. So if your home IP address changes, then the DNS record on Cloudflare would not be updated and your website will become effectively unreachable. To mitigate this, you can use Cloudflare tunnels, which are an elegant way of exposing certain services to Cloudflare. Your server will run a service called Cloudflare D, which then essentially opens opens up a tunnel between you and Cloudflare. It comes with the benefit of added security and control over which services are exposed. This works extremely well with services hosted using Docker or Kubernetes. And it's something I've used for self-hosting my portfolio website, so subscribe for an upcoming video about that.